faces and so many friends here. I want to first thank the, uh, the organizers. I want to thank UTM Liberals and uh, Students for Omar for organizing this. Um, Deep uh, is the president of UTM Liberal. Uh, Vlad Glebov is the uh, deputy campaign manager. Uh, Ahmed Khan and Wase, and there's so many other people who helped put this together, so I want to thank them. And uh, by the way, your presence here is the best way to thank them, so thank you for coming. Uh, let me share with you a story about, some of you may have heard me say this before, about three sheep living in a secluded forest. There's a white sheep, a brown sheep, and a black sheep. They're living together happily. And there's this coyote that always tries to break them apart so he can eat them individually. He couldn't, the coyote could not attack them when they're together. So one day he went to the white and the brown sheep and said, look, this black sheep is ugly. It makes noises when it eats, and it eats too much. You guys will be better off if you ignored it and let me deal with that sheep. They thought about it. They said, you know what? There's more food for us. And it, he's right. That sheep bothers us all the time. So the next day, the coyote attacks the black sheep and kills it. And the other two sheep don't bother. A week later, it comes to the white sheep. It says to the white sheep, you know that brown sheep? It thinks it's white. It's not really. She's not white. And she thinks she's, she's at your level, but she's not. And she doesn't uh, follow the schedules that you have for uh, vegetation. And it's causing you a lot of headache. Let me deal with her. And you just look the other way. Don't worry about it. But she thinks about it and says, you know what? Fine. As long as you don't bother me, leave me alone. And I'll have more food. So the next day, the coyote attacks the brown sheep and eats them. A week later, the coyote comes up to the white sheep ready to pounce on And the white sheep said, hold on, what are you doing? Didn't we make a deal? He told her, you died the day you let the black sheep die. This is, notwithstanding the fact that sheep and coyotes don't talk to each other, this is a profound story that tells us about the value of standing up together for rights that maybe in the short term may not seem to affect you personally. It affects others. So you may be reluctant or disinterested in getting involved, but you realize that it has a direct impact on you in the long term. This is what human, universal human rights is all about. It is about standing up for a universal principle that applies to everybody, even at times that do not apply to you, but in, in the long term directly will have an impact on you. And for selfish reasons, we all should stand up for universal human rights. And by the way, it's not a distant abstraction. It applies to economic policies, to social policies, to environmental policies, and it can, be, it can materialize everywhere. So it is an important litmus test for our politicians and our leaders not only to pay lip service when it's convenient to human rights, but to believe in it and to show commitment. 